Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and I'm going to be talking to you today about the Zhiyun Smooth Q4 smartphone gimbal. If you are looking to up the production value of your smartphone footage, a gimbal is the quickest, easiest, most effective way to do that. And the Smooth Q4 is a fantastic gimbal to help you get there. If you are wondering what makes you qualified to speak on this topic, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably not, but... So what's included in the package? Well, let's just open her on up. Do we really want to spend two minutes watching me open a box? All right, I'm gonna speed this up. And here we have a nice hard shell case with Zhiyun branding. Uh, inside we can see the uh, tripod, the gimbal. Man, that thing folds up nicely. Um, and now we have a wrist strap. Do people use those for gimbals? I'm not really sure. A registration card, some documents I'll never look at and oh, an all metal light with some filters and a USB-C charging cable. And there you have it. All right, so next we'll move on to the build. Um, what's there to say about the build? Well, it's almost all plastic minus some of the important stuff like the attachable light, the quarter inch 20 threading uh, for attaching the tripod, parts of the phone mount, the extension selfie pole, and I'm sure a lot of the internals are metal, um, such as with the motors. Um, but seriously, metal is overrated for something like this. You want lightweight, you want small, and these plastics provide more durability than what you'll probably ever need. So other than that, you'll find a very soft rubber on the grip and rubber on all locations that come into contact with your phone, which is nice. And now we'll move on to setup. So it was one of those things where I took it out of the box and kind of figured out how to use it without going to the manual. If you've ever owned any sort of gimbal before, uh, this gimbal should feel very familiar. If you've never had a gimbal, there's a slight learning curve, but the quick reference guide will get you up and going pretty quickly. And there are plenty of how-to videos on YouTube. Okay, so first of all, uh, it does break down into this very small package. Each moving part can be locked down so it doesn't clink around during transport. Uh, it's nice too because to lock it down you have to, uh, or you don't have to, click any switches or turn any knobs. You just put a little extra pressure when turning each part. Uh, pretty quick and painless um, and easy. Putting a phone into the mount is easy to do. Uh, unlike gimbals I've dealt with, that I swear it seems like it requires a uh, team of four to get the phone mounted. And this one can be done in a matter of seconds. It's nice too because to save space you can click these little tabs into the mount itself or you can just leave them up like I typically do. Included in the package is this handy little tripod that threads into the bottom of the gimbal. It can be used to add an extra grip for two-handed filming or to uh, set it down somewhere to film yourself from a distance. The Zhiyun app for a smartphone has some great options for filming and editing your footage. Generally speaking, I use the built-in camera uh, on my iPhone or I'll use the Filmic Pro app. And then there's also this little light. Uh, it snaps on and off using magnets. You can turn it around easily as you switch between selfie mode to front facing mode. It even remembers if it was on or off when you switch directions, which is a great little bonus they threw in. The light gets pretty bright too. Uh, you just hold down on the scroll wheel to turn it on and click through the four brightness levels. Then hold it again to turn it off. And that's about it.
So when it comes to the modes, there are the standard modes that you find in almost all gimbals. There's pan follow, lock, follow, and POV. These are just ways that you can limit movement in specified ways that help you get the shot you're looking for. I almost always just use the pan follow occasionally when I'm wanting to uh, look up um, or down towards the subject, I will use the follow mode. Um, but it's, it's great having those options available. All right, so let's talk about usage, and this is where it gets kind of interesting. I found using the gimbal to be easy and enjoyable. I love the selfie pull too, helping me get all kinds of unique shots uh, I, I wouldn't otherwise be able to get. Uh, battery life is fantastic. I've been using it a good bit uh, for the past couple of days now and haven't had to recharge it once. I think I read you can expect between 10 to 15 hours of usage between charges. Um, that sounds about right for what I've been seeing. Um, that's extremely good. You'll never be able to use that in a day or two. Um, and, and that's even up there with my uh, Zhiyun Weeble S gimbal that I have for my full frame camera. Holding down on the mode button keeps the gimbal turned on but deactivates the gimbal motors to allow you to adjust the phone or gimbal or quickly take off the phone to make a phone call or respond to a wife that won't stop texting. So the joystick is great and easy to use. You can even adjust its sensitivity using the Zhiyun app which is a nice feature, but not one I've had to take advantage of. Uh, but using the Zhiyun app helps you take control over all the buttons and features of the gimbal, and it's definitely worth checking out. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some more footage. As I, as I review this footage, I'm just amazed at how good it looks. You can do so much with a decent uh, phone with this gimbal. Uh, at times, as I'm watching how smooth this is, you know, I think of my um, my main camera that you know I spent thousands of dollars on, and my gimbal that I spent um, I think it was five or six hundred dollars on, and then I look at this footage, and there's just there is still a difference, but man, it's getting thinner and thinner uh, of a divide between this footage from a smartphone and a little handheld gimbal and a full setup like what I generally use when I shoot um, events, uh, weddings, things like that. And that sums up my review of the Zhiyun Smooth Q4. And that sums up my review of the Zhiyun Smooth Q4 gimbal. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And I wish you all a good day. Thank you.